I got good news and I got bad news. What do you want first? Yes. Bad news? Yes. You, there's uh, some notes today. Okay. What good news now? Yeah. No graphing today. Okay. Um, and before I forget, there is a formative this week in the MRC. Yeah. I should have let off that one with bad news, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, there is a formative this week in the MRC. Okay. So today we're going to talk slope and rate of change. I don't expect I I fully expect you to remember this stuff and get these nine slides done. Actually, yeah, these ten slides, nine slides done in no time. Okay. And then we've got plenty of time to work on the homework. So okay. So let's talk. What is slope? The rise over the run, okay? That's one way to find it, right? What else is slow? It's the rate of change. y equals mx plus b. So we could say that m here is equal to rise over run. Okay, I like that. Anything else that we know about slope? Build off that y equals mx plus b. Where have you seen y equals mx plus b before? Okay, what about, what? so what part would the slope be in a linear function? Or a line, let's say. Could we call it the... Can we call it the steepness or the direction? Bigger the slope, obviously the steeper it is. Any other ways that you know of how to calculate? M and Y equals MX plus B. Any other ways? What if we had two points? Can we find the slope between them? Close. Change in Y over change in X. Yep. Yep. So the slope here is the change in y over the change in x. Hmm? Or you subtract the y's over subtracting the x's.
if it were me, I'd put those two on a note card. For me. Okay. Now, let's step outside of the normal mathematical box and let's think abstractly. Okay. In terms of slopes, how many different kinds of slopes are there? So think number sense here. How many different kinds of slopes are there? Give me a kind of slope. Well, yeah. Uh, positive, slopes. positive slopes. Okay. Negative, Negative slopes. That's two. Undefined slopes, that's three. Any more? Vertical is the undefined slope. Okay. So there's one more kind. Zero. Okay. So there's four kinds of slopes. There's positive slopes, there's negative slopes, there's undefined slopes, and there's zero slopes. Okay? So, an example of a positive slope would be m equals 5 or m equals 7 ninths or m equals 3.2. As long as the slope is positive, that number has to be positive. Okay? Now, my question to you is thinking all the way back to Algebra 1, and then bringing that forward to geometry, and then bringing that forward to Algebra 2, okay? what does, which direction does a positive slope line go? What is it? Talk to me in words. And? Right. Okay. So the description would be it goes up and right. Or, or down and left. So it looks like that. Yeah. yeah. A negative slope. Give me an example of a negative slope. M equals negative 1. Give me a fractional example of a negative slope. Okay. What's the description or direction of a negative one? Up and left. Excuse me. Up and left or bless you.
kind of a trick question here. Okay. Or, if you really wanted to, you could put zero over some number. Because okay. when you're dividing by, when you're dividing into zero, it doesn't matter what it is, unless it's zero. Okay. What's the description of a horizontal? <clears throat> What's the description of a line that's got a slope of zero? It's horizontal. Oops. Brain was just going so fast. Undefined slopes would be where we divide by zero, and that's what makes it undefined. You can't divide by zero. Okay. What's the description of an undefined slope? Vertical. I think it's Cal at the end, right? Is that right? Yeah? Spelling was never my strong point. Greatest invention to me ever made? Find the slope of the line passing through the following points. Then, tell if it rises or falls to the right, is horizontal or vertical. Okay. So we're going to use that. M equals Y minus Y over X minus X formula. Okay. With me? I'm going to give you... Five minutes. Go. So I would go five minus negative two over negative three minus five. Yeah. Or if you went negative two minus five over five minus negative three, that's fine. But on top there, you get seven. On the bottom, you get negative 8. So the slope there would be negative 7 eighths, which falls to the right. Agree with the first one. Eight minus eight over seven minus negative eight gives me zero over fifteen, which is a slope of zero, which means it is horizontal. Agree with that one. Negative 1 minus 5 over 3 minus 3. That's going to be negative 6 over 0. So my slope here is undefined.
which means it is vertical. Two minus negative four all over three fourths minus one fourth, which is going to be six over two fourths, which is one half. Bless you. Six divided by one half is twelve. So my slope here is positive 12, which means it rises to the right. Questions on any of those four? Okay. Next concept I want to talk to you about are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So when we're dealing with slopes, we can have three different kinds of lines, or three different pairs of lines, I will say. Okay? Line, two lines can be parallel. Okay? What does parallel mean? Parallel lines. They don't ever intersect. Okay? Give me a real world, best, bestest world, real world example of parallel lines. Train tracks. Yep. Train tracks. Bestest example. They are always okay. They're always going in the same direction. Yeah. Right. They two lines can be perpendicular. What does it mean to be perpendicular? They intersect at a ninety degree angle, or they cross <coughs> at a ninety degree angle. Actually, they make four ninety degree angles, right? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. And, then you go for it. and then neither is not parallel and not perpendicular. Another way of saying it is called skew. Okay? So there's parallel, perpendicular, and skew. Okay? So parallel lines okay, look like that and have slopes that are what? Parallel lines have equal slopes. That also, I do believe, is note card word. Perpendicular lines, where is it? Wait up here, wait up here. Perpendicular lines, again, meet at a right angle does anybody know how the slopes of perpendicular lines are related flip just flip and opposite Flipped and opposite, we call that in math opposite reciprocals. Okay? So the opposite part here means that you negate your number. Okay? So if it's positive, the perpendicular one is negative. If it's negative, the perpendicular one is positive. And the reciprocal says that you flip it. Yeah. So, if you had something along the lines of, if your slope was A over B, okay, so that's your starting slope, your perpendicular slope, okay, the symbol for perpendicular is the upside down T. Okay? So that's the symbol for perpendicular. The perpendicular slope then 
would be, I negate it, so I've got a negative now, and I flip it, so it's negative B over A. Definitely no card work. Okay. So let's play a game. Okay, I like games. Okay, the game that we're going to play is the game called parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So you tell me if line number one is parallel to line number two, is perpendicular to line number two, or is neither to line number two. Okay? Do you think you can play it without the rules? What are the rules? No? What's the first rule? What do you got to do first? Find the slope. Okay, so you got to find the slope of both lines. Then, rule number two, get the size of parallel perpendicular. Go for it. What do we decide? Parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Neither? Perpendicular? Don't know. Well, let's figure it out. Okay? So, first off, and find the slope. So, negative 1 minus negative 2 over 5 minus 6. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1 over negative 1. So, that gives me a slope of negative 1 for the first line. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. 3 minus 8 over negative 2 minus 4. That gives me negative 5 over negative 6, which is 5 6. Yes? Are they parallel? Why not? Not the same. Why don't they're not the same? Are they perpendicular? Because they're not reciprocal, right? They're opposites, because one's positive and one's negative, but they're not reciprocal. And it's got to be both. So in this case, we are neither. Okay? Want to play round number two? Go for round two of parallel, perpendicular, neither. Slope of the first one is 3 minus 4 over negative 9 minus 0, which is going to be negative 1 over negative 9, or positive 1 9. Agree with that? Slope of the second one is going to be negative 4 minus 5, all over 3 minus 2, which is negative 9 over 1, or just negative 9. Parallel? Not the same, right? Okay. Perpendicular? Yeah, they are opposites. 1 is positive, 2 is negative. Okay. And they are reciprocal. 1 ninth flipped over is 9 over 1. Or just not. So they are opposite and they are reciprocal, therefore they are perpendicular. Questions on that? Yeah. The last style of problem that you will see tonight in your homework and on a quiz that might happen next week, and on a test that might happen later on, is something that looks like this. 
Find the value of k so that the line through the given points has the given slope. Well, you set up the slope formula. So the slope formula, again, was m equals y minus y all over x minus x. Okay. And so you set that up. So I have that. So my slope here is negative 2. So I'm going to say negative 2 is equal to, and then I'm going to set up my slope formula. Negative 3 minus 4 all over 3 minus k. And then i got to solve that for k. Now, I like to employ the cross-multiplication method. So one of them is going to be there. So 1 times negative 3 minus 4. Well, negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. 1 times negative 7 is negative 7. The other one is there. And so that's going to be negative 2 times 3 minus k. So that's negative 7 equals negative 6 plus 2k. Negative 1 equals 2k. So k has to be negative 1 half. You try B. So there's my setup. One times two K minus four is two K minus four. Four times three minus K. So we got two K minus four equals twelve minus four K. I would add 4k to both sides, and I would add 4 to both sides. That gives me 6k equals 16, dividing both sides by 6 gets me k equals 8 thirds. One thing I will tell you about slopes, fraction. Okay? If you're finding the slope, give it to me in fraction form. Unless it's given to you in decimal form in the actual problem. Okay? But if it's just straight up numbers, give it to me in fraction form. Okay? Alright? Reduced fractions too. 16, 6 there would not work. Homework tonight. The first, the first grouping is find the slope, tell me if it rises, falls, horizontal, vertical. Okay? That's the first group. The second group is um, three of the parallel perpendicular neither problems. And the last two are like, are those find the k value problems. Okay?
So, 432. Nine problems today.